Do you ever have those moments or days where you just don't feel like showing up? That you might be dragging yourself off the couch. Those off days, your low energy, emotions are in the tank and you just don't know why. Well, we all have those days from time to time. Hi, I'm Deborah Kozowski, three-time best-selling author, speaker, executive coach, and the host of The Millionaire Woman Show. Today, I want to talk to you about staying motivated even when you don't feel like it. We need to get your head in the game so that you can play hard in the game of life, leadership, business, or in an organization. So in order to do that, I need you to start shifting your mindset and ask yourself, am I committed or am I only interested? You see, Stephen Pressfield wrote a book called Turning Pro. Fantastic book, highly recommend. He talks about how the pro mindset requires the discipline to overcome resistance. See, what happens is when we start losing motivation, it's because we're facing resistance and we're facing fears. Could be fear of success, could be fear of failure, could be fear of embarrassment, could be a number of fears. Often the greatest fear is the fear of uncertainty. With whatever comes up, will you be able to handle it? And the answer is yes, because you've faced uncertainty many times before, and now it's just a new level, a new devil for you to conquer. So in order to move through the resistance, you need to choose whether you're committed or you're interested. Are you gonna to decide to be an amateur on the sidelines? Or are you gonna decide that you are gonna be the pro? See, a pro have a, has a totally different mindset. And people change their perception of those people who own what they're after. People, and you also view yourself much differently when you see yourself as being a professional, being that pro versus amateur. That's why I love watching kids um, at the rink when they're growing up playing hockey and the coaches say, you know, dress up for the game. You know, it doesn't have to be tier one teams that are only doing that. It's getting their mindset in a place that they are deserving, that they are the best that they are working toward and they're putting in the efforts and it shows up in how they show up. So how are you gonna show up? You see, when we're pushing through those fears and resistance, what a pro does compared to other people is that they put habits, they pair things to make sure that these habits stick. So they might ha have a system and set up morning routines that they know that they exercise, they journal, they get the drills in or they practice their speeches. All of these things are setting up a system so having the running shoes by the bed or the workout clothes right when you walk in so there's no way you can face those demons of procrastination, perfection, the distractions around you. You have to be able to see past those things in order to stay motivated. Let's say you're learning a new instrument, perhaps a Spanish guitar, and you're like, oh, I just don't feel like practicing today. Well. Ask yourself, what's holding you back? Where is that resistance coming from? What are you afraid of? And do you need to set up a system where maybe you just sit around playing chords? Maybe you're just gonna pretend you're making some of your own music. Or you listen to something inspirational or you have your own little dance party. Whatever it takes for you to set yourself up for success. And some of those tools, like vision boards, it's very powerful to have that tool in front of you where you look and you can see yourself in that moment and feel the energy that it would feel like and the emotions you would feel like if you were actually doing those things or owning those things, whatever it is that you wanted to be, do, or have. Then there's also tapping into your why remembering why you signed up to do what you're doing and knowing how it felt, what it means to you. So when we can tap into the why, it can often get us reset and motivate us back again. And setting up again, like I said, those morning routines. And also you might wanna check out Mel Robbins' 
five second rule. Five, four, three, two, one, and jump up and go. So no time for that self-doubt or questioning of yourself of whether or not you're going to be able to be successful. See, if you want to stay motivated, you got to do things even when you don't feel like it. You got to push those self-limiting beliefs, those boundaries out of the way. And sometimes all it is, is sitting down in front of a blank piece of paper, writing down whatever comes to your head if you're a writer. If you're wanting a workout and you just don't feel like it, go do it for 20 minutes. Whatever it is that you know you need to do, put in 20 minutes of effort and you will be surprised that you may lose track of time. And at the end of 20 minutes and it didn't work, then okay, take a step back, reframe, or stop what you're doing and moving on to the next thing. At least you put in the effort and went through the motions, but you got, here's the catch. You need to give your best on whatever it is that day. So quit holding yourself back. That keep motivated by putting in that momentum because action takes care of everything. And when you move and push through resistance and the fears, of whatever is coming up for you, this is how you can stay motivated and focused on where you're going. Keep that vision board available so you can see your path. Write in a journal as if you're already there. You have to act as is. Turning pro, you're not gonna wait until you're pro. You're gonna put in the practice now that would make you a professional. Be a professional of your life. Turn pro today. Hi, I'm Deborah Kozowski. Thank you for joining me. Please go over to my website at www.debrakozowski.com where you can get right now your three-part video course called Making Habits Stick so you can knock those goals out of the park with focus and concentration and make them a reality. Thank you for joining me today.